Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Fridays from the Farm with me, Farmer Chris. We're starting here in the goat shed at Brookside because two of our goats are getting switcherooed for another three. So goats can stay in lactation for quite some time, but eventually it gets to a point where it's just wise to rotate that girl out. Give her a rest from lactating, let her kind of bulk up in a different way, and then possibly she'll have babies again. Daphne and Jules are going to return to Sugar Tree Farm out in Auburn, Indiana, with our farmer friends out there. I will be bringing back three legacy goats, Fault, Hermosa, and Jealousy. What do you think, Daphne? Are you excited to go home tomorrow? Oh, yeah. He's a big sweetie. So we're really grateful for these goats. They've done wonderful work, and I believe Daphne gets to retire, which means just living out her wonderful days in a big open field. What do you think, Daphne? Sound like a good plan? Of course. Of course she agrees. So I want to go explore a little bit more about the experiment we did last week, where we looked at chunks, and today we're going to look at actual in-the-ground soil, and then find something curious and something goofy. So, hope you all have a terrific day, and it's a good one to come. Y'all take care. Anything to say? Hey there, everybody. Welcome to this week's Curious Corner. Oh, there's something weird going on. I haven't, I haven't experienced this in quite some time. I'm so curious what's happening. What's that noise? What's the... What's all this stuff? falling from the sky right now. I was just doing something. I was building things. And all of a sudden there were all these particles of something falling from the sky. Y'all help me out? What's... What is this? They're so big. Huh. It's happening here too. Also here. Mm. You guys feel that, right? That's, what is that? What do you think? What is it? Hmm? They've got the right idea. Hmm. What is this? I wanted to extend off of last week's Curious Corner, where we explored three different soil profiles in these chunks, these pieces that I had out of their context. And so what I wanted to do is bring it back to the place that it actually might come from. And so here I am at one of our flower beds. This is hyssop growing. And last night, yesterday, it rained, and then we got some rain today. And so what I wanted to do is kind of bring that full circle and talk to you about saturation and why it's important to get more than just a small measure of rain. Let's take a look. Here in our bed, we can see that the top surface is moist. It's wet. If I take a chunk and I hold it up, it sticks together. It just has a different texture to it, and I can feel the moisture inside of it. But what's really important is for us to explore down below that surface. And we pull that aside and go until we hit dry soil. And you can see right away the color is different. And then I can take it and it just crumbles. And so even though we got a significant amount of rain, a decent amount, I was out in it, it wasn't enough to saturate this soil to the point, that ant is biting me, to the point that our plants can really, really use it, where they can really take it up into their systems. And so rain is wonderful, but at this point in time, we really need more than that. Then, bringing it back to you, when you're watering your spaces, you have to remember that a quick little water, even though it creates surface moisture, that isn't really where the plants need it. And so make sure that after you break up that surface tension and you water at one time, swing your way all the way back around later so that the water you put in gets down into a place of saturation where the plants can pick it up. (laughs) 
Hey, do you all know why the man fell down the well? Because he couldn't see that well? <laughs>